The XB-70 Valkyrie was a prototype strategic bomber designed and built by North American Aviation in the 1960s for the United States Air Force. It was intended to be the fastest and highest flying bomber ever built, capable of flying at Mach 3, three times the speed of sound, at an altitude of 70,000 feet. The XB-70 Valkyrie was a large aircraft, with a wingspan of 105 feet and a length of 185 feet. It was powered by six General Electric J93 GE3 turbojet engines, which provided a total thrust of 210,000 pounds. The aircraft was also equipped with a sophisticated avionics system, including a radar system for navigation and target acquisition, as well as an inferred detection system for self-defense. The XB-70 Valkyrie was designed to carry a nuclear payload and to penetrate deep into Soviet airspace to deliver it. However, the aircraft was never put into production due to a number of factors, including the high cost of development and the advent of intercontinental ballistic missiles, which made manned bombers less strategically relevant. The XB-70 Valkyrie made its first flight on September 21, 1964, and on June 8, 1966, during a test flight of the XB-70 Valkyrie. A mid-air collision occurred between the XB-70 and a F-104 and Starfighter chase plane that was flying in close proximity to the bomber to take pictures and collect data on its flight characteristics. The two aircraft collided at an altitude of around 20,000 feet over the Barstow area in California. The F-104N, piloted by NASA test pilot Joseph A. Walker, was torn apart by the impact and crashed immediately, killing Walker instantly. The XB-70 Valkyrie suffered extensive damage to its wing and tail sections and went into a violent spin before its pilot, Al White, managed to regain control and eject safely. The cause of the collision was later attributed to wake turbulence generated by the XB-70 Valkyrie, which caused the F-104 to pitch up and collide with the bomber's wing. The accident was a significant setback for the XB-70 program, as it resulted in the loss of valuable test data and delayed the development of the aircraft. Following the accident, the XB-70 Valkyrie was repaired and returned to flight testing, but the program was ultimately canceled in 1969 due to a combination of factors, including the high cost of development and the changing strategic landscape of the Cold War. Today, the wreckage of the F-104N is on display at the San Diego Air and Space Museum, while the XB-70 Valkyrie that was involved in the accident is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. Despite its short lifespan and limited production, the XB-70 Valkyrie remains an important and impressive aircraft in the history of aviation, and it paved the way for the development of other high-speed, high-altitude aircraft such as the SR-71 Blackbird. In conclusion, the XB-70 Valkyrie was an incredible aircraft that pushed the boundaries of aviation technology in the 1960s. Its advanced design and engineering paved the way for many of the aircraft we see today, and its legacy can still be seen in the supersonic jets and bombers that continue to fly at high altitudes. Although the XP-70 program was ultimately canceled, the lessons learned from its development and testing have been invaluable to the aviation industry. Today, the surviving XB-70 Valkyrie prototype is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where visitors can see firsthand the incredible technology and engineering behind this legendary aircraft. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of the XB-70 Valkyrie, and we hope you gained a new appreciation for this incredible machine and the people who worked on it.